Andrew Nealon. And I'm Evan Sosetsky. And welcome to our last episode of HHS Today for 2017 and one day before the break. We're going to start off with a minute with the principal, Mr. Bishop. Welcome to the last minute with the principal of 2017. Crazy. As we approach this break, I wish you happy holidays and a new year's of peace and happiness. It's a wonderful time to reflect on all the good things in life, relax and recharge your batteries, spend time with friends and loved ones, and maybe watch some holiday movies like my personal favorite Christmas vacation. And don't forget to thank your teachers for the gift of no homework over vacation. If you're traveling, be safe, and if you're staying around Hopkinton, I hope to see you at all the events throughout the week between Christmas and New Year's. Again, thank you so very much for your feedback, positive attitudes, and hard work. It's a privilege to be working with you as your principal. I can't wait for an even better 2018. So happy holidays, everyone. Be kind to one another, be positive, and always remember to keep smiling. Thanks, Mr. Bishop. Coming up next, we have our question of the day. Today we're asking, what is the oddest gift you've ever received? What's the oddest gift you've ever received? A uh, Ouija board. One time I got a guitar. I don't play guitar. The oddest gift I ever received was a doll with no eyes. What's this? Strange pink shirt with these like weird rhinestone somethings. I just received a uh, jar of smooth peanut butter, but only like crunchy, extra crunchy peanut butter. I once received a juice box on Halloween. The strangest gift I ever got was a Marvel superhero book. When I was about 14 or 15, I got a vacuum cleaner. I was about five years old. I had an uncle give me an actual Red Sox uniform that would have probably fit a 17-year-old. Alrighty then. So let's turn to a quick visit with one of our HHS Today fans. We have Melissa Hayes here in the studio, longtime fan of HHS TV, and she emailed us with her friend Pratima, interested about the legal statement in uh, the last episode of HHS TV. So Melissa, uh, what do you like about HHS TV? I think it's just an interesting show to watch, and it's fun. Yeah. How long have you been watching? Um, continuously throughout this year and sporadically in previous years. Thanks, Melissa. And if we didn't have a tech glitch, you would have seen her get a cool water bottle from us for her email, which said, quote, My friend Bertima and I are big fans of the show, and we had a great time watching today's episode. Anyways, let's get some encouragement from Mr. Hanna. No matter what background you come from, religious affiliation, cultural affiliation, kindness is at the heart and center of all these beliefs. And what I'd like to ask you to do over the next two weeks is to take some time and reflect upon ways that you felt good when folks have been kind to you and ways that you can help folks feel being kind to them. With all that we have to look forward to and happiness here in the town of Hopkinton and Hopkinton High School, we really want to make an effort to make sure we're focusing on being kind to one another. I wish you the very best over the course of the next week or so. Enjoy your holiday season and we look forward to seeing you in 2018. That was inspirational as ever. Mr. Hanna, thank you. What do we have left now? Well, Drew, we did a poll here asking what the best holiday movies were. The top three answers are... Elf, Polar Express, and A Christmas Story. All some of the best, Drew. And that brings us to our segment, Minute with a Club. And today, it's Make-A-Wish Club. Hi, we're the Make-A-Wish Club, and we want to let you guys know about some of the things that are going on in our club at this time of year. And we also want to encourage you to help others around this time of year as well. So during this time of year, this little girl who's in the hospital with cancer, all she wants is mail from people. So we will be collecting drawings and letters to her here in Miss Martin's room. And if you guys want to drop them off, it'd be greatly appreciated. And then we're also collecting letters to Santa, which you can also drop off in Miss Martin's room, A309. Um, and Macy's will donate $1 to the Make-A-Wish Fund. So make sure you drop these letters off tomo by tomorrow because the deadline for all both of these letters is tomorrow, Friday, the December 22nd. And make sure you check out our Instagram. And from all of us at Make-A-Wish, Happy Holidays! Remember, the deadline for those letters is tomorrow, so start writing. Next, what's up for calendar items, Drew? Tomorrow is a Hiller Day. After that, it's winter break until January 1st, 2018. And there's lots of sports coming up, so check out our website for that. And the December Hiller Student Athletes of the Month have been announced. Maggie Yon, Alexandra Lee, and Ali Bredoulis. Congratulations to them, and you can read more about them on our website. Lastly, it's time for Have You Seen This? We did a new style last week, and here's Miss Williams with the update. 
Hi, this is Mrs. Williams back with the answer to last week's Have You Seen This? The winner, Justin Buffard, was able to correctly identify the period in which that lovely work of art was created, which is Gothic. He even knew that it was Saint-Chapelle, an excellent, small uh, French Gothic chapel. The misnomer that I was talking about was uh, the father of art history, Giorgio Vasari, who makes me very angry. Uh, he nicknamed it the period Gothic because he thought it was all dark and gloomy. But in reality, Gothic, as you could see from that picture, is all about light, height and light, and hope. And so at least Justin Buffard saw through his lies. So HHS TV will contact you soon, Justin, about getting your water bottle. <clears throat> and that's it for this episode. Check out past shows, new info, and web-only content at hhs.today. Send complaints, compliments, or tell us what we should be covering by emailing to hhstv at For everyone at HHS Today, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next year.